Hi and welcome, I'm Craig and today I'm going to produce a video for YouTube on my uh, YouTube channel IT and Gadget Solutions um, this is so I can help people on YouTube with signing in on their smart TV apps or whether it's on a tablet or phone now that nowadays you've got to sign in using either your phone or your TV TV system or your computer to sign in to do this you need them to run an account whether it's with BBC iPlayer or ITVX formerly ITV Player or Channel 4 etc etc this is basically for to have base programs that's tailored to you so you can know what they you can recommend on what two programs you watch so for example say you were watching EastEnders um, by having an account with BBC player base they will recommend saying all right you like EastEnders so we recommend you watching Waterloo Road for example or uh, or the bodyguard or it, it, Basically, it just ta tailors your programs to what you watch over the course of your account. So today, really, my uh, my video for this is for to show you how you sign in on your TV apps. Right? Um, so whether you've got a smart TV, whether it's your tablet, your iPhone, Samsung, tab uh, sorry, Samsung phone, vice versa apps are everywhere even your computer um, so I'm going to take you step by step um, through all, each of every app now you, um, as for video um, apps which is entertainment you've got like BBC you've got ITV you've got Channel 4 you've got Channel 5 you've got Prime you've got Netflix you've got there's, there's a ton of them out there but in today's society some people struggle with the aspects of um, signing in um, I think you know, why have I got to sign in is always data protection in the, this the vice versa um, no but, but with vbc.com basically they you need to run an account to prove that you've got a TV license if you're to watch on demand programs and basically it will just enable people to start watching on that device. So third I'll do I will start with BBC iPlayer um, I've got a Samsung TV um, it's smart and I will take you through what you've got to do um, and as, as also you won't see what I'll be signing into for my, for my per my personal account details um, this will be blurred out but if you look at the bottom on this video then it will show to coincide with the bit main video so further ado let's get to it now whether you've got like I said smart TV or whether it's app TV or BC TV or sky Sky Glass, anything you need to sign in on any device. So, with BT TV, you get a box TV remote. Sorry, um, you just obviously go into your home hub, um, and then you've got all your apps. As you can see, there you get BBC iPlayer, ITV, which is um, they've now formally rebranding themselves as TVX, Channel 4, Channel 5, Bitbox, Netflix, Prime Video, Now TV um, and other um, apps. Um, if I go onto the main, main TV I will show you other services. You've got like Apple, Apple TV, you don't need to because you're not um, that's to do with Apple. Uh, 
WWE Power and Plus um, and vice versa but yeah uh, this is just that we're only covering the main TV apps for on demand such as uh, if you want to watch EastEnders and you've missed it and you've forgotten to record it you can go on to BBC iPlayer and then sign in now luckily for me I've had a problem with my TV box so it's been wiped and, and I've got to re-log in to each every single app on my TV so um, let's just bring up BBC iPlayer and then we'll go down and and then they, there you go and it becomes signed in to watch you've got now you obviously got to have an account you now you can set up yourself an account on your iphone ipad or internet based device well, and you can even do it on your smart t tv because some tvs do have internet browsers integrated in in with them um, and then you would sign into your account you create an account and then you pair your account with your TV then you pick your TV will then talk to your account right I'm paired um, I'm away I'm ready to go and let's watch on TV so you want to sign in um, you'll normally get um, a, a TV link um, a web link uh, basically where say bbc.com itv.com um, channel4.com but some do because uh, it's dot com it's a company now if they were just a normal UK based it would be dot co dot UK so I would just say sign, sign in on my phone so what we'll do is I will go bbc dot com forward slash account TV um, then as you know that, that, that you get a code now this these codes are gener generally so generated randomly so they're not um, th always the same so if you were to install or actually reset the number always changes so you're, you're safe to show that number but yeah, when you come to sign in I will go through that in a minute so we're going to enter the code eight five seven six nine oh then we sign press sign in and then on as you can see um BBC sign in on in the bit in the and then automatically uh, straight away your TV will then talk to the internet talk to your account and get a paid and it'll show my name and then we are signed in so we can then start using the the app and basically we are in now, now we can watch now what reason reason BBC, BBC asks you for an account is that you they you've got to have a TV license for to watch on demand or live programs and or and tailored programs to you and um, so then you go say for example we play Detroit does and we play play it and, and it says got a TV license um, if you have a TV license you can watch it straight away and then we'll take it into the program if you don't say we don't have one it will, it will take you back so the they, BBC.com are trying to uh, I was gonna say to, um I'm working on getting TV license for free but it's all rumours at the moment but some apps if you don't have to have a TV license for but it's a little bit controversial. So but yeah, that's bbc.co.uk So let's come out of this one. And we exit, and as you see, my list search blah blah blah. But for the purpose, we're only using this video to have people signing in and what what they've got to do. <coughs> uh, in your exit, now 
it's the same process for ITV or ITVX as it's formerly known now. There we go, that's our ITV. Yeah, as you can see, it's been updated to ITVX. And then it takes you into the app. Now, what have, now some apps will do this, but if you go to watch now on one of the programs, um, what happens is and what we do this time around is giving you an option of a QR code, which you normally scan with your phone or sign in with your TV remote. Now, for this purpose, I will be using the QR code. Now, what you will do is, you, you can use your phone with your camera. You'll go up to it and you scan the QR code. And then you press the TV link. But some people don't have that. And then you can sign in with your TV remote. So, uh, QR codes are getting more frequently regular. Um, obviously, it's becoming a technology thing. This is getting more better in getting to you for what web links you may have seen uh, in restaurants, etc. So, what we do for this one now, now I've loaded in ITVX. Um, you would sign into your TV and then again you get a code on your TV so you sign it on your account and then you enter your email and your password or register for an account and get a new enter the code which is 326462 continue and uh, that's all done now. Just let the TV refresh. It'll give you some options. We don't want that. So you go watch now. And then you can go straight in and then load the program. Now I won't go further into too many apps. That is almost practically the same. Some you gotta do it manually. Some for, for example uh, for channel 4, you've got to do it manually with the TV remote using a keyboard layout. Um, so if we were to come out, I uh, will show you. The one with a QR code is channel 5, they've got the same thing, or you can do it manually. But channel 4, briefly, I load it in. Um, I, Accept all your pre accept and continue with your privacy, and then you s again you sign and register, or you just browse. Now, uh, with channel 4, I'm pretty sure you can just watch straight off without signing in. So, if you just try and play SAS all day's wings, no, see again, you've got to sign in to watch. It's basically on personal rec recommendations again. That's tailored to your watching history, etc. Um, it's just one of those things. So, with this, are you going to enter your email and then you will continue with your password? So, I'm just going to go off screen just for slightly. But you you would use the keyboard using the arrows. On character at the time, don't don't misspell because you would have to do it all again, which can be a pain. And what they do is they make it easier for you having the end 
the end bit, the end domain they call it, um, basically the dot com and all that. Um, and it makes it easier for you to type, just as long as you've got the main, main ones. Yeah, next, and then I'm going to my password. It does take the time, obviously, because it, it, it's terrible. Some don't have, like Channel Four, they should have an easier way, like with like the QR, QR code, sorry, so it's easier to sign in. But unfortunately, this is the site we live in today. That's technology. But hey, um, I'll just put my password in. So again, see, it's a bit temperamental with the keyboards on the apps. If you get it wrong, you can't go back a space. You've got to clear it. Whether you need a capital, you've got to basically use the function of going from lower case to higher case. And um, basically, it's a bit temporal, but once you've done it, you go, let's go sign in or let's go, or if you've forgotten your password, you go and really, you go and reset your password, which is done through your email. Mm -hmm. And now we are signed in. So, again, it just asks, tells you to, that you accept the terms and conditions of, of using the app. You go accept and play, and again it takes you straight into the program. So that is it really um, for this video. <laughs> um, any opinions, or well, if you find any um, suggestions, or whether you want extra apps for me to show you, please do do so. I'm Craig. This is IT and Gadget Solutions. Please subscribe, turn your notifications on, and enjoy the video. Thank you. Bye.